Sometimes in cable, Dana, you just say things. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Just like, it's like <laughs> it's a tribal. <laughs> just trying to get a, get a reaction. Yeah, was that one of those moments? There's no, and, you're, and there's no consequences. No, for anything. there well, should be. Yeah. There should be. You should be able to say stupid stuff like that. Sure. I did say at least six stupid things a day. A day, a segment. A segment. And he's, like, and he's like, I'm just putting it out there. Just, just put, put it, it out, out there. there. Provocative, yeah. Greg. I have to yeah. say that the stories about Doug Emhoff rallying, trying to rally the troops behind Kamala Harris, you know, they, they reportedly met with rolling eyes in the White House because, first of all, I would never want my husband to do that for me. If you are not, if people aren't already ready to rally around you, you can't have your husband go and fight that battle oh, for that you. Bad. I mean, come on. And I, obviously, we have never had a second gentleman before, but I assume that if the, if the people in the West Wing aren't taking her seriously, how seriously are they taking him? You know couples where the husband, like, really, like, oh, helps the wife's career yes. and really encourages it, and, like, it doesn't really take off. Second Gentleman sounds like the title of, like, a Cinemax... Remember Cinemax, Skinemax. those late-night things? Or maybe a romance novel with Fabio on the cover. Yeah. Stacey Abrams the might The Second well. Gentleman. I, uh, you know, I don't... I'm more interested in how Fetterman has ruined the look of the hoodie for me. Oh, yeah. I used to like to wear a hoodie, but then when you start wearing it in, in inappropriate places, it kind of stained its beauty. So that's why I'm not voting for him for president. So, Good reason. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want to take on, Judge, the Fetterman for president line, or do you want to talk about <laughs> the dude, the second dude? I want to talk about Kamala. Yeah. I mean, how could he push her? She's got the lowest approval ratings. She didn't even make it to the Iowa caucuses. The woman's been giggling like she's been laughing the whole two years so far. She hasn't said anything smart, and she just giggles every picture. She's, ah! I mean, it's so disappointing for women. So, I mean, Emhoff, I don't know who he is. I don't care who he is. I don't think she's going anywhere. <laughs> well, Let's talk about Fetterman. Yeah. The guy can't get out of his own way, but it works for the Democrats. That's the point. If you're not a quality candidate on the Republican side, you don't get elected. But if you're an <laughs> idiot who hides either in a Trojan horse like Joe Biden or Fetterman or what's her name, Katie Hobbs, you get elected. Yeah. The best Fetterman line, and they were like, well, do you support fracking? And he's like, yes. And he's like, but you used to not support fracking. And he's like, I, I support, support fracking. fracking. <laughs> well, Great candidate, yes. right? I, yeah, in a lot of ways he well, was. So I, great. What do you, if you watch the primary play out, I was supportive of Connor Lamb. I thought that he was the better choice for it. But what about Connor? What do you know? What about Lamb would have gotten crushed. Fetterman, I don't think that's so. the guy you Wait, want. No, I want to hear from a woman, a Democrat woman. What do you think of Kamala? Is she presidential I, material? She's vice presidential material. No, I, that's not she the was question. Not, listen, I've been very open on this. Kamala Harris was not my choice in the primary. She was not the choice of a lot of people who were going to go and vote, which is why she dropped out, and a lot of people who were huge Hillary Clinton supporters. And it was a big issue that didn't feel that she was worthy of that mantle, that she was as strong a candidate as Hillary Clinton was. But what I will say is everyone always talks about her. She doesn't get, what does she do? She doesn't get anything done. She's in charge of the border, root causes, blah, blah, blah. You know what issue she was in charge of? Abortion. You know what happened? Democrats had a 53-point advantage on the issue of abortion. She was the one who was out front for the administration oh, yeah. talking about it, about the threat to women, especially in cities. What a stretch. Yeah, you get all the credit, Kamala. <laughs> Way to go. Well, I'm sorry, Joe Biden, when people talk about Joe Biden's legacy, right. they talk about what happened with same-sex marriage, and he was in charge of that. Uh, we talk of course about they the do. crimes he's committed overseas. No, you do, but normal people <laughs> talk about the fact <laughs> that he was in charge. Question, what does the second gentleman do all day? The same thing that the when a lady does the job that she sure does. Are you sure about that? I, he pees standing up. <laughs> That's different. He doesn't but... have other things going on? Like what? Like, like, the, like a shave or something? What do you mean? I just want to know what he does all day. I think this is an expose you know? for prime time. <laughs> That's yeah. right. The the first, first, the we're going to look into that. <laughs> yeah, second, the you know second what, gentleman. What does that really mean, you know, Jesse? You're not even joking. I'm going to do this. <laughs> I know you are.